Sports is making strides to become more inclusive for athletes. USA Boxing announced that they will be allowing transgender women to compete against female boxers and transgender men to compete against male boxers. According to USA Boxing, the new policy will require transgender boxers to meet certain qualifications before competing, such as quarterly hormone testing. What are your thoughts on this new policy for transgender athletes? Al, I'm going to go to you first on this one, then to Carolina. Sure, absolutely. Guys, you know here on the show, I'm a huge advocate for our trans brothers and sisters. But this, I don't like it. I don't like it. And because I don't like it doesn't mean that I'm talking against the trans community. I don't like it because it just doesn't make sense to me. And the one thing that they talked about is not just hormone therapy, Claudia. One of the things that they have to meet is they have to have done the full transition, meaning a trans woman needs to have a vagina and a trans man needs to have the penis in order for them to compete that's one of the requirements along with the testosterone level and the uh, the what is what do women have Te- uh, estrogen. uh estrogen levels and that to me is just extra weird now i understand the importance of exclusivity exclusivity or inclusivity i understand the importance of that but this still just kind of feels weird to me. And because it feels weird to me, I will say this. I do want to learn more. And if there's any soulmates out there that could talk us and teach us more in this space about what it means to try uh, to be more hormone according, according to and, and transition and make them more woman-like or more man-like, I'm open to understand more. But just listening to this, it all does not make sense to me. And I don't like it. All right. Carolina, what do you think? Well, opining on this, I was a little nervous. Um, be. Because, you know, I'm not an athlete and I'm not a uh, trans, but I do have a, a transgender cousin. Uh, he's F to M. And I asked him flat out and he used to be an athlete uh, when he was in high school. When he was still a woman, he was um, he was a swimmer. And he was a gymnast before that. And so I was like, hey, what do you think about this? And he immediately FaceTimed me and was like, listen, the fact that they are doing it based on hormone levels, that puts everyone on the same level. Like if they have the same amount of testosterone, the same amount of uh, estrogen, then they should be able to equally combat in whatever sport that they're in. Um, As far as the surgery, he's like, you know, when it comes for men, having to get that bottom surgery, it's a lot harder of a surgery than it is to remove the member. And he didn't know if he was in agreement with that or not. But he gave me an example of of a boxer, Pat Manuel, who's a woman who became a, a transgender man who is winning belts. And unfortunately, men do not want to fight him. Um, and I wonder if it's because of ego. Maybe they're like, I don't want to be beat by a transgender man. Uh, I am all for inclusivity. Like Al, I feel like I'm not educated enough. I don't understand the perspective as an athlete, you know, competing against somebody who was biologically born somebody else. So I don't feel okay in in sharing my opinion. But I do think that we have to find these measures that allow for people who are finally feeling who they want to be and assuming that position, being able to fulfill their dreams in whatever sports they desire to play. All right. I know it's like we feel like we have to tiptoe around this and be so delicate. And I hate that because I feel like a lot of people don't tiptoe around things when it comes to matters of uh, I hate I don't like to use the term cisgender women. It's F our feelings as long as the uh, another community is not offended. Everyone can get offended and everyone can get smoke. Let's get back to common sense. I understand the argument about hormones, but let me remind y'all, there was a black woman, I think from South Africa, I could be wrong in the country. She was a track star. She naturally had high levels of testosterone to the point where they took her out of competition because of her natural levels, right? I think things get really, really tricky with this hormone thing because you can manipulate that. Just like when people do steroids, a round of steroids, they time it so they don't turn up, give a positive test in time for the race. Even if all things being equal as far as hormone levels, right? There's still advantages of being born male, lung capacity, mm-hmm. bone density, mm-hmm. strength, transition later on in life. Mm-hmm. Listen, I am a woman and an advocate for women are strong too, but we'll ne- the, the strongest woman will never be as, it, 
men are genetically stronger than us. And right. even once that transition, I feel still have an unfair advantage when it comes to biology. I don't, I, I, and yes, we have a long way to go and we're not as versed and we probably should have someone transgender on here to talk about this, but we can still speak as who we are. I don't, right. I think for the amount of people that are in this, right, in this position, I think a lot of times the trans community gets used to get people riled up and trending and, and outraged when it's not even that many people we're talking about. And if we want to inclusive inclusivity, there are enough trans people though that we might need to start having a conversation about giving them a league. And they can really, right. you know, and then we can end this argument. We can end this argument. And that is, maybe that's an opportunity. I don't know. I, I got to talk to someone trans about that to see. Yeah, but there's I other agree. things on hormones, le hormone levels. There's other things besides hormone levels that give you an advantage. You know, yeah. you you uh, reach, you, you yeah. wingspan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know uh, from the article that Brooke uh, sent us when we were discussing the topic, or when she sent the topic, there was an Australian, I believe, either swimmer or track star who was just like, absolutely not. You know, they keep breaking our records, and it's unfair to us as um, as cis women to to have to go against this. So I I do hear that loud and clear too. I mean, it sounds. It sounds like we might have to consider what you brought up, Claudia, the elite, a, a different league or something. It's just, oh. it's tough. It's tough to please everyone. It's, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not an easy thing. And sometimes you just can't. Let me just read a comment real quick. Corey Kenya says, Claudia got to jump every time to diss trans people. I need you to shut the hell up with this. Ooh. You do. Ooh. My actions have shown my support of the trans community with opportunities, with things I stand for, how I vote and how I move. Okay. Just because I have a pushback on this topic, don't, don't, don't dress this up as I'm coming for this community or I have hate or disdain or phobia. That is not true. I'm looking for a real solution. And if you have one, please put it in the comments. I want a way where everyone can feel comfortable, but it should not be at the expense of the other group. I should not be, I, my comfort should not be over a trans person, just like um, my, the discomfort of, of cisgender women should be at the comfort of trans. We have to find a way where people are accommodated. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the solution. <clears throat> I'm throwing out ideas. I'm just throwing out ideas. But that is not me dissing the trans community. Where would you ever get that? When I had issues um, in Dallas, I had a radio show, right? I invited members of the community so they could tell us how they feel. And we need more people to speak on it and be vocal about it and tell us what you think the solution could be. But this ain't it. We're, we're far from having the solution that we need. And I and I, I want people to feel good, but everybody, not just one set over the other. Uh, Chris Sierra said, by this logic, let special handicapped people compete in the other Olympics too. Does that make sense? All right, you know, this is something that we, we you know what, we're going to have a trans person on the show and we're going to discuss this and we're going to... Um, really get to some solutions and, and, and see what they say. Well, yeah, we need more than just a trans person. We need a trans athlete. We need exactly. a trans athlete, someone that can speak into this space of should there be a, a different league? What does it feel like? What, what you know, I feel like I want to hear from a trans athlete, not just from a trans person, no disrespect. 